So our next question is, do you have any specific plans or ideas on how to stimulate the city's economy? And again, I'll open it to whoever goes first. Ms. Samson wins. <laughs> I have a few ideas. One of them is we need to work with the fairgrounds. We need to get with the lady that manages that, I won't call names. We need to get down there and talk with her and see if we can get in some big box entertainment. Right? I think this weekend we have the motorcycles and I think everybody's all excited about that. Well that brings income, that brings people to our city and they will spend their money here and that will help our economy. Without that, we're not going to be able to do much. We are looking at the Family Dollar Center, still working on it. There's a problem with that because the gas station was there. We can't get the song away. As soon as we get that, we'll get more employees. We'll, they'll hire people. That'll bring more people to our city. But right now, it's like we don't have the funds. If you look at our budget, we have $7 million come in, $77 million come into us. We spend $74 million finances on the things we need to take care of the city, people, employees, the, the necessary equipment, things like that. So I am willing to do what I can to bring in the economy, and I think that's one way of opening it, is by working with the powers to be at the fairground to get the dollar center going and try to bring in other business. I'll work with Mr. Ciota down there and the chamber to keep pounding the pavement to see what we can do to get businesses to come in. I tell you what I like. I love bug cakes, and they have one in San Diego. And I drive over there to buy it. Beautiful here in Imperial. There's different things that we could get down here in Imperial. I'd like to see um, a fast food place for our teenagers when they go to lunch. All they have right now is Donut Avenue and Johnny's or something like that. Not knocking them, great places. But just to run in and grab a hamburger real fast, a Jack in the Box, or Jack in the Box from McDonald's. My mother-in-law says, no, you want an In-N-Out. <laughs> the reason why I would like to have like a Jack in the Box, one of those places, is because there's a playground. If mom needs to sit down and do something, Junior can be out there playing while I'm taking care of that, and it's cool inside. So that's what we have to do. We have to work on getting businesses in the town. We also need a grocery store. I love El Sol. But I miss the Valley Market. I wish we could bring something like that back to Imperial, and I think it would prosper. I don't want a uh, Costco, I don't want a Walmart that's too big that would blow us all out of the business here. I would like to just keep it where we could just run in and get the things that we would like to have. So I'll be working on that to bring in more to help our economy grow. Thank you. Thanks, but um, I'd like to see the city uh, put more interest in trying to bring more business and try and help them out on the, the water water rates. When you build a new business, the, uh, just to pay for the water um, permit is, is really high. And I'd like to see the city be a little bit friendlier in that area and just be motivated to go out and have a speaker or someone go out and try and bring big business, as Betty said, big box businesses. All right, thank you. Well, what may, some people may not know is we've already done that. Uh, 2014, the city manager, Mark Grant, our city planner, attended the conference of Shopping Centers International. They went out there to blow Imperial's horn to let them know certain things. Uh, everybody at this conference said no, they, they see the Imperial on the map and it's a little block and they, they know how many people live here because that's what they do. But what they didn't know is that Imperial is the third fastest growing city in the state of California. That's, how, that's what's going on here in Imperial. That's, we're number three in the state. But the most important part that we found out from businesses was Imperial is the fourth safest city in California. And that goes off the city staff right there. When you're back-to-back -back numbers, shopping centers, when they met with these people, said, we had no idea. We handed out information to these people this year, and they said that they were 
like to follow up, and they will follow up with us. Everybody's talking about the Dollar General. That's been my kind of pain in the side. They built the foundation, they got ready to go, and they found gas tanks in the ground. I'm glad to say, I was just on the phone a couple days ago with Dollar General. They got a clean bill of health. They are moving forward, and they hope to break ground and begin construction in January of 2015. So that'll be our first big structure of business here in town. But trust me, in behind the scenes, city staff is working to bring more business because we know more business pays taxes, and those taxes is what alleviates some of the, the crisis on the homeowners and people in the, in the city. Thank you. I'd also like to uh, say, along with Mr. Breeden and what I've said earlier and reiterate, we need to bring in more tax dollars to this city. We need to uh, continue to push to bring in new businesses. Uh, one thing they always say, and I've heard from the city, is that our population isn't quite to the standard where they want. Like We've been trying to get a Starbucks in for a long time, but we don't meet their criteria, their needs. Uh, what we have to do is follow up on what this great city has already done. Reach out, keep pushing, keep getting out there, bring, try to bring the businesses in, bring that prosperity in, bring our tax base up. Uh, so what I have to say is we have to work together, and that's one thing as a council member, what you have to do is you can't do anything by yourself. This is a council of five, and you need to work with each other to get this done, continue the great work that's already been done to try to bring businesses here, and that's the best thing I can say right now is continue to push, push, Try to bring, we have the Crown Plaza over by Hind Eaton Market where uh, Alfred's Distributing is. We've already got that area set up. We've also got the business park over off of Aiden Road. They're ready, we just need the businesses to come and I'll fight to bring those businesses here. Thank you. I myself um, would not like to see big business here. Um, I would like to see um, more expansion of the family-based uh, businesses, the home feeling. Um, I'd like to see us expand more on events and and have a committee set up that knows um, how to run, like we had score races here. I'd like them to, you know, welcome, welcome everybody here and have everybody um, enjoy the time that's here. I know that, um, People here in Imperial, they love, we have events here on the street, Main Street, in the park. It's, uh, and it's always packed. If there's, a, there's a lot of people that welcome this here. And so I think more events, uh, family-based restaurants and, and towns and, and also uh, businesses for uh, the small people. I think that's how Imperial feels. Thank you. <laughs> 